Hey everybody, you can hear. So the time has finally come. And for Darifus to finally earn his ascendancy. We have arrived. At the end of the last session, I went on deck just just into a complete spiral regarding uh, lightning conduit so yeah so consecrated path is still on here gotta get rid of that where is it here no consecrated path use channeling Yeah. I do not care for Lightning Conduit. I know that people are saying great things about it. That it's like the... Like of all the skills in the new league, it's like, you know, it's like the skill. But I'm, I'm not a fan. Like, I think there's ways of using it. But... Like, I went and I tried... Af even after all of the testing I did in that quick cut I did at the end of the last session I actually completely updated my elementalist build like just to cater to that one skill and try it out not a fan not a fan at all. Vanic Field. Don't need to support with anything. Don't support Static Strike. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's right. Just sitting somewhere. Actually, if you look at Static Strike, Lightning and Fire. It would actually, it would actually Trinity this. to do with that red though. Added fire, I guess. Left tap. I mean, the damage doesn't really matter on that. If I'm being really, truly honest. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. That should do something. <laughs> Let's do this, Cesaro. Within these walls, the Lady of Justice doth reside. She shall weigh your mind in one hand, your heart in the other. Should she find you wanting, death shall be your sentence. Should she find you worthy, you will be given the loyalty and love of an empire. The Lord Labyrinth awaits you. Put that there before. There. I'm forgetting what my full setup was last time, but that should be good enough. Turn on. Mana regen. Our ice damage. Now. 
Infinity should work. Let's go. Because I'm not particularly... I don't know. I, I, I'm not particularly sold on this character's like damage mitigation right now. I'm going to be searching for the secret like the secret shrines. Yep, we got Trinity. And it works. Yeah, I gotta move these back around. Yes, yes. We're not going to do anything with at the moment. Get her overcharge. Yeah. You've clarity where it is. looking for anyway, so is okay. Hey, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Show me something. Show me something, wall. I know you got what I need. What I need is damage mitigation. to go deeper. Come on, show me something. there.
stuck on this side. So hopefully he's on the next part. The shrines are hidden very sneakily since, like, there are incredible boons to get during in the Sensi run. But I th like, and I'm not sure if it's just that in the past I I just wasn't aware of it, or if it, or if they updated some things to make him easier to find. But I noticed uh, when I pointed it out in one of my build videos that. You can actually find the shrines by looking for, like, you can actually, like, see the room, like, the outlines of the rooms on the map now. Which, like I said, like, I don't know if, like, it's always been that way and I just wasn't aware of it. Or if they changed something. Hurts to leave loot behind, but it is as they will. Hmm. Is there really not one in this part? <laughs> Guess not. Oh well. We are here to fight Azaro. The weary traveler draws close to the end of the path. I do. Thank you for noticing. Where am I at with this? Level three right now. Currently, generate 336 life. Pump that. Now, 460. Good amount. Especially considering that we only have 749 life right Pump that. 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 No golems. Please, no golems. Okay, mirror this time. Good. I'm not a fan of the golems. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had that one happen. Actually, I don't know if it can happen in... I don't know if the golems can actually happen in, uh, like a regular Ascendancy trial, but... I don't know if it shows up if it can happen if it can show up in a normal like you know, like normal difficulty essentially trial. I don't know like in the higher ones like like there's one where 
like the like the golems that you get as like you know the golems that you can get in act 4 like there's an Azaro mod I guess where like those golems can just like they'll show up like you know like like they'll come up like one at a time but they'll like but unlike when you usually see a golem show up in like out on a map like they don't run around like they they move they move very slow and the reason they move slow is because the the game i guess that they're they're pulling with them is that if Izaro touches them then he gains their buffs so if <laughs> So if the fire one and the diamond one both show up, or the fire one and the ice one both show up, and he eats both of those, then that's a wrap. I mean, like, if you happen to have, like, defense against being crit, then I guess it won't, wouldn't be too bad. And, like, where, like, you take, like, a bunch of reduced damage from, from crits. But, aside from that, if, <laughs> if Azaro gets that, it is not good. That's something you want to see. Ooh, update two lightning tendrils. Definitely like to see that before the next round. 1830. Now. Yes. Very good. Um, Trinity. And lightning warp. Very bad luck so far with the shrine. I mean, I don't actually know if it's guaranteed that a shrine will show up each uh, each trial. I always just assume they do. And if you don't go hunting for them, you just won't find it. Definitely not here. Yeah, because we're looking for outer walls. There needs to be a wall that you can tell... ...could potentially lead somewhere. Head towards that lore and hope that there happens to be something there. I don't think I ever actually I, I like normally I don't play Path of Exile with my headphones on. 
I guess I probably just never heard the the sound effect for those things getting up. It is prominent. Saw that down there also. Uh. Try and please. Here. I am no beast of burden. Oh, you better pick that up. Oh, it's this one. Uh, sometimes I do this one in like 10 seconds. Sometimes it takes me 10 minutes. So face, face, face. we want oh. want to do this corner I think that's the right move. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, because that'll still be on. Yeah, so that might have been the wrong move. That's off. That's off. Still on right here.
One in that one. Maybe. No, but this one's still on. There you go. Sometimes it takes a minute. It doesn't seem like we're going to get a... Seem like we're going to get ourselves a... What's ritual do? Minion thing? No, elemental. Bad, bad elemental. So I don't care. Yeah. Nothing here. But we still have hope. One of those walls has one. Now mind you, there's lots of different boons you can get from those shrines. So while like some of them like give you like a big damage boost, some of them give you like a big bump to your resistances or to your like defensive options, like armor, evasion. Like, there's some that just do stuff like, uh, like, make it that if you get a damage over time from, from a trap that is just severely reduced. Yeah, I can fit that. Thank you. Actually, they're gloves. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> yeah, so, if you haven't done an Ascendancy before, depending on the difficulty you're doing, there will be a thing at the end after you beat the final challenge and like it, you can put an item in it and it'll automatically add an extra mod to it and for the first one so like in the, for the normal trial What do I really want from this? Energy shield or a resistance? Is 
miscellaneous. So for the first one, it's for it's always gloves. So got these this four link here. So lightning damage to attacks. Damage to attacks. That in order. Life. Food resistance. Energy shield. And yeah, nothing great on any of those. I'm, I'm just going to use a... Or Valkyrie. Nice. Very nice. See what you got. Okay, so it's the little shrine things, so. All right. Yeah, I forgot what this thing is not. Uh, like it. Like you don't attack it. You just have to click on it. Yeah. Now some of them you have to attack them. Some of them it's more general. So you get the next one. Alright. So hopefully this will be the one. yet. Show me something. Head down this way. Come on. Here we go. Right here it is. It is here. Here it is. Cool. Get. Dark influences reside in dark places. Nice. 
Nice. We have a thousand life now. Cool. I can just head straight for Zaro. Yeah, hopefully this is the right way. This one to that one. Alright, let's go. On outside. Where you at? Nope. Not you. I'm looking for the outside. The outside will lead me to Zaro. I almost got smoked by that trap. It doesn't look like... The outside's gonna be this way. But maybe. Thingy over here. Yeah, and that's just a do thing. I don't care about the thing. Aha! Ah. Yeah. So no outside at this one. Gotta do... One more. Would like to be outside, please. Not going to pick up that blind support. I've never used blind. Oh no, it might secretly be the best support in the game, but I've never used it. I don't plan to start. Yeah, 
I don't care about you. Oh. Oh well. Found this first. Not gonna go that way. Um. Take me to the end. Zoro must face me in glorious battle. Here we go. Zoro time. Like something I, I've always liked about these, like uh, when the first two you do, like they'll always show up, like on these little pedestals, on the sides. Oh, think that the mirror is not there. The other corner. There. Do battle. Oh, well, Nazaro. Yeah. We got a key. Good. Anything you might want to take with it. <laughs> Not really. Let's see what we got. So, unless this is amazing, I'm tossing it. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Tossing that. Drop one more. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he always drops one key. I forgot about that. But he. <laughs> I thought I was special. Where to spite? I think that's the one where. No, 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 no. I was thinking it's the one that, like, where the. Like, the little. Like, meteor drops down by. I think. Like, spite so is the one where, like, you get hit. Like when you get hit, something happens. Yeah, when hit. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's have no. You know that yet? So. But we now ascend. Path of the Inquisitor. 
Truth is elusive, yet God has provided us with all the tools necessary to find it. Is interesting. And so I'm thinking probably start with Instruments of Virtue, move on to the Righteous, well, I mean, so, uh, ah, Righteous Providence is so interesting. It's so interesting because you get a plus 50 to both Strength and Intelligence, and you get an additional 1% crit chance, whichever one's lower. Right now, so the lower would be intelligence at the moment. So 182% additional crit chance. But you know, like that's it's crit chance is based on your weapon. So in the case of this, your crit chance is 6.50. So it'd be increasing it to 12. Point Twelve point seven five. No, no. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot higher than that. It's that one hundred eighty percent, right? That's what actually be closer to. Closer to twenty percent. Around 20% crit chance. Plus a bunch of strength and intelligence. And strength and intelligence gives us flat life and improved energy shield. I don't care about this one for now. For later, this is a good one to get. Maybe that one. Yes, I'm just going to grab the Ascendancy now. Is elusive, yet God has provided us with all the tools necessary to find it. Hmm. I have ascended. Down. We have achieved our goal of making this a
achieved our goal of making this a Templar build. Or not <laughs> a Templar, Inquisitor build. Now we just need to get to Act 3, I'm sorry, Act 4, and see if it was worth it. I'm going to have to think on these. I, mean, I do have a pretty good hat. Not great. Rather have that armor. But if we do get that accuracy rating. And that lightning resistance. It's cold resist. Now cold. Yeah, we're overcapped on cold right now. Popping to lightning. I'm oh, sorry, this is on that. Yeah, so we, yeah, so I guess we want to stay on that. Because we can't upgrade this at all to give us the cold we're missing. Lightning we're missing. Yep, but for now. An Inquisitor build, so it's time to become an Inquisitor. I have to commit. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go basic and go for Instruments of Virtue. All right. Now, Inquisitor build with Battle Mage. Next time we'll get our last level here. And I kind of want to invent invest here to get the R exposure, but I think I'm gonna go for the life energy shield and the flat health. Very low on health right now. Definitely want to improve that. We go for our mind over matter. Actually, have we touched mana at all? Have not. Mana has not been touched, so because of the positioning there, might go for here instead. Our mana and energy shield up. Like it's not worth it's not worth it to go after mind over matter if you don't have a lot of mana. I accidentally put that in. I must have put that in four. Oh, yeah, because that, that was four points to get to there. Put the fifth point right there. Uh, 
I will have one extra point. A little more flat life mono region. Actually, we could head into here. That's increased mana also and reduced mana cost. Yeah, lots of options. But that will be for next time. Actually, and now that we are properly an Inquisitor, time for cosmetics. this one. It's kind of an inquisitor you look. And a clothy. Rider. Yeah. Kind of like that. FF12 look there. This actually looks pretty good on this. Mace, it looks like a sword. Charges. Anything lightning, lightning-y. This Yeah. That'll do. This is how this character will look for the rest of these. Although, I might take the the sword off. I mean, the sword looks good, but we're not wearing a sword. Yeah, so gear-wise, we're just looking for a really good mace now. Because, you know, Battle Mage doesn't really help us if our weapon isn't top tier. We want a nice, big, chunky weapon, nice shield. Want to replace this with one of these. Need to weigh out the <laughs> weigh out my options here. 
I'll craft whatever one I decide on up. Actually, maybe not. Maybe. The thing we wanted was at Hargan the entire time. Oh, we got oh, it's the axis, yeah. Care about the axis. What's up with you, Hargan? Why do you never have anything for me? <laughs> Bring me back something nice, huh? I won't, because you refuse to give me the gear I want. Yeah, so... Yeah, we'll craft one of these up next time. I just need to decide if I want to push energy shield or armor. Both have benefits. Right now we're at very low armor. Got to be low armor. Actually, it's it's interesting that this terrible amount of armor somehow is giving us 26% physical damage reduction. Now we gotta update these boots. Got our glove upgrade. Yeah, I may just make I, I I may just pull the trigger right now and just say that it's gonna be Brigadine. The like so here here's the thing. <laughs> the reason why this is kind of an up in the air thing for me is because we need blue. We need blue, and it's gonna be hard to get blue on this. Because it has one blue right now, but when we start using our chromatics, that may change very fast. <laughs> I know I've wasted an entire stack on on Duelist gear, trying to get blue on it, and it is not a common roll. <laughs> so I'm thinking this just. To reduce the headache of trying to roll some blue on it. Because we want to keep our three here. Well, I mean, we have three on this. And actually, and since it's four, no, no, no. We still can't do anything about that yet. Because we. Need to get to Act 4. Act 4 is when everything happens. But, yeah, so, next time is going to be all about just finishing up Act 3. And we just, all we have to do is, you know, head to Dunar's Temple, take out Piety, get the key, the tower, take out Dominus. Then we're in Act 4. And from that point on, like our goal is just to unlock those gems and and see what nastiness we can do with this character. <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for stopping by. If you've been enjoying these, then I'd appreciate a you know, doing all the YouTube stuff, you know, like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.